Have you ever been stalked in the middle of the night? Good. Because it's about to happen again in today's video. Sit back. Shut your smelly mouth. Let's jump into this new horror game. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to The Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name, and Tales Beyond the Tomb is the game. And in today's episode, we're playing Pineville Night Stalker. It's great. Don't know what I'm doing. We're just going to start experience, sit back, relax, and shut up. Welcome to the first episode of Tales Beyond the Tomb, an episodic horror series that delves into chilling true stories. Starting a new game will erase all previous progress. Do you wish to proceed? Of course we do. Let's hit accept. My God. Like the music. It's great. This game is based on a real case. Names and place names of places and people have been changed to protect the identity of the victims. So these are true stories. Crazy. Thursday, October 24th, 2017, 3 a.m. I was probably making a video game video. My name is Megan. I graduated from law school two years ago. Since then, I've been working in a small office in downtown New York. My mother passed away two months ago. She didn't have a particularly close relation. We didn't have a particularly close relationship. To be honest, it had been six years since we had last seen each other. This morning, I received a message from a lawyer who told me that I had to go to the town of Pineville to sign the will. That's not good. I've asked my boss for three days leave so that I can sort this out quickly. My work colleague Lenny is on vacation and has offered to accompany me. Today I had to stay late at the office. I had to close some cases before I went traveling. In the end I fell asleep. Damn, I fell asleep without meaning to. Oh God. Okay, so this is kind of like Fierce to Fathom, where they use true stories. Bro, is that Mixo? Who is that? That better not be Mixo, Nat. Mixo, are you in here, dog? That better not be you. Whoa. So this is what? What did it say? 2017? Why are they using Windows ME? It's a little weird. Did it say 2017? These are some old computers, bro. That's a Packard Bell. What the hell? I have to pee. I'm about to burst. Ooh, a cigarette. Someone was here recently. It's still smoking, man. Hit it. Come on. Ah. Why wouldn't it ever let me hit a cigarette in a video game? One day, I'll play a game where it lets me do that. All right, let's get out of here. I got to pee. I'm not leaving yet. Is the bathroom in here? Ha ha ha! What the hell? There we go. Better close the door first. Why? Wow, there's nobody here. All right, man. Let's pee. Huh? Ah! Yeah. Where are my legs? Ah! Oh. You ever get the piss shivers? Oh. Those are the best. I would like to leave now. What the hell's going on? Oh, there it goes. I better wash my hands. It's a wash. I better wash my hands. All right, get them squeaky clean. There we go. Got my hands like oh shit! Ah, you bastard! Damn, Meg, you scared me. Did I scare you? Damn, Lenny, you almost killed me. Oh wow! 
I'm sorry. I just came to get some papers, and I had to go to the toilet. I didn't want to wake you. From the smell, you ate something rotten, right? Oh, my God. Mmm. Is this supposed to smell like roses? I don't think so, right? Haha, ha, very funny. We'd better go now. It's getting late. <laughs> Drop the bomb in there. The hell did you eat, man? Some lasagna with garlic toast? What's your problem? My dear colleague, could you help me find a folder? What would you do without me? That's why I love you, Meg. It's a folder with a red cover. It has a label with my name on it. With your name? Which one is it? The bathroom destroyer? <laughs> That's not funny. I had a stomach ache. Don't judge me. Now let's find this folder quickly. It's already too late. Okay. I'll look around here. Could you check the cupboards? Sure. Huh. I'll check the cupboards. There it is right there. Gotcha. Here you go, Lenny. You are badass. Who still, <laughs> who still uses this tasteless slang? Now let's go. It, it, yeah, I have a bus. A, I have to catch a bus. We'll do that one. How are you? I mean about everything. Are you ready to go tomorrow? I'm fine. Thank you for coming with me. No problem. You're my best friend, you idiot. You're my best friend, hum. You are the idiot, bathroom destroyer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that nickname won't last. I must go. You can sue my intelligence. Let's go soon. The stench from the toilet will soon pollute the whole building. Yes. What are you stepping up on me, dog, you stinky bitch? Get the hell out of here. Go wipe again. Oh, I don't like this. All right, come on, man. Why are you just standing there? I have to go. Can you manage here alone? Okay, don't worry. The bus should be here soon. If Why are you getting all up on me, dog? If you want, I can wait under your bus until your bus arrives. Not necessary. <laughs> what bad thing can happen? Gee, I wonder. I don't know. It's late at night. A crazy person might be chasing you. Ha ha, very funny. You can go. I'm fine. So, uh, see you later. Take care of yourself. Get out of here, stinky man. With your toxic butthole. I'm going to sit down. I hope it doesn't take long. I would have had him stay with me, man. Even if I was a dude. I'd have been like, yeah, man, chill with me, dog. We'll smoke some stogies. Wait for the bus. Yeah, this atmosphere is nice. I love games like this. The only thing I would change is, uh, needs dialogue. Uh-oh. Hey, friend, come back! Oh, my God. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Yeah, I couldn't do this. Even as a dude, I couldn't do this. Why did he stop? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I want to say something to him, but I'm not going to. What is he doing? He's looking around to check and see if there's anybody around, and I don't like that. Come on, bus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sir, can you, like, sit two chairs down, please? Why you got to sit literally right next to me? I hate this. This is the most awkward. Ah! 
Uh, that's not what he said. It's a beautiful night. Don't answer. Oh, God. Nowadays, people live without regard for others. Don't answer. Cool, man. Mind your own fucking business, bro. I just want to get on the bus and go home. God! Oh, come on, bro! You are a very beautiful young woman. You should not be on the street at this time of night. What? Like... I get men trying to protect women, but dude, it is so unnecessary to say that shit. If you're worried about someone getting to me, just keep your mouth shut and watch out. Alright? That's all you gotta do. You don't have to say that shit. Not answering you, bro. I like the night and this cooler climate. Perfect. Well, good for you, man. You're right. It's not good to talk to a stranger. Please leave me alone. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I'll leave you in peace. Yes, please do. I feel like I was subject to be rude and I didn't want to be. It's like I was forced to be rude. Like, first thing you do is you walk back and forth and then you sit right next to me and you're making awkward conversation. Not, not a good look. What are you doing now? What a strange fellow. I'm glad he's leaving. So he wasn't getting on the bus. He literally just came over here and sat. For no reason. Wow. If I was in this situation, I'd probably do the same thing she did. <laughs> she would to smell the earlobes. That man really scared me. I don't know what he wanted. There are people who sometimes just want attention. My bus arrived and I went home. I was very tired. I've arranged to meet Lenny in the morning. He has a motor home. I hope the bathtub doesn't get damaged on the way. That's hilarious. It was time to return to Pineville, the place where I spent my childhood. Ugh. Thursday, October 24, 2017, 9.35 p.m. We traveled all day, the roads stretching endlessly before us. Heavy rain poured down, slowing us down a bit. It was still a long way to Pineville. Lenny is a really cool guy. I wouldn't have come without him. Yeah, but Lenny's probably the one that's going to be the weirdo. Whoa. Lenny, the toilet destroyer. The porcelain nightmare. Do you think there's life beyond Earth? Like, do you believe in aliens? I'm not really sure. I think I might, but I've never thought about it too deeply. What about you? Do you believe in it? Absolutely. I mean, the universe is infinite. It seems impossible that we're alone in it. Looks like we have a philosopher in the car. Wow. Yes, and still very beautiful. <laughs> That's like a conversation you have with a dude. I never seen a road this straight in my life. I really like it. It brings me a sense of peace. I really needed this trip. Being cooped up in the office was driving me nuts. Same here. It's nice to escape the city noise. Let's stop at the next gas station to refuel. It looks good. I can get something to drink. All right, uh, we're going to uh, Bucky's. Stop at the Bucky's. I want to use their bathroom. They got the best bathrooms in the world. Did you hear that noise? Noise? I didn't hear a thing. What did you hear, Lenny?
Ha ha, cover your nose. <laughs> You're so gross. What a terrible smell. <laughs> uh. Man, this ain't Bucky's. It's a 7 Eleven. God, you stink, bro. Looks like a thumb, don't he? Ah, it feels so good to breathe in the mountain air. <laughs> All I can smell is stinky air from your fart. Come on, Meg. It was just a little fart. Oh my God, I need some fresh air. I'm going to grab something to drink. <laughs> my legs are really numb. I think I'll just stay here. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back in a minute. Can you grab me some energy drink? Thanks. Sure, but you're paying. I thought we were best friends. Fine. My wallet's in the back. After that stinky fart, you lost 50% of his friendship points. <laughs> Haha, -ha, okay. That seems fair. <laughs> Alright, man. Let's get his wallet. Where the hell is it? Wallet. There we go. Lenny's wallet. Stinky bastard. You're paying for it. I think that's fair. You know what? I hear the uh, the bathroom stalls in the UK are way different. Oh my God. Than the stalls in the United States. Good evening. How's the journey going? Good evening. Everything's great. It's nice to get out of town sometimes. I'm just going to say hello. Everything's good. There's a guy behind me. I don't want to leak too much information. That's great to hear. Where are you headed? I'm headed to Bineville. I was born there. It's a tiny town, but I know there are some really beautiful houses there. Uh, my mother passed away, and I'm going there to take care of a few things. Ah, I'm not going to answer that. Do you need anything else, or is it just the fuel? I'll take two energy drinks, please. The energy drinks are in the vending machine to the left. Thank you. Please stop staring at me, sir. What kind of energy drinks are these? Dark energy. Okay, one more. Yeah! Two dark energy drinks and fuel. Do you need anything else? No, that's all I need. Total is $60. Oh, thank you. Have a safe trip. I, d I guess we are driving a Winnebago. Thank you. See you later. I thought it was just for the two energy drinks. Didn't you forget something? Oh, shit. So distracted. I do that all the time, bro, in real life. I can't tell you. Dude, there's been times when I pull up to a drive-thru to get my food, or I'll... I'll pay at the same window and as soon as they give me my card back I'll start driving off I've done that before here you go smelly bitch here's your energy drink thanks Meg I really needed that we need to find a place to stay for the night I'm really tired I need to get some sleep we'll just say that there's a motel nearby maybe we can stay there and take a hot shower uh, that sounds perfect. Let's finish our energy drinks and hit the road. Yes, ma'am. Captain. Has anybody else ever done that? Or is it just me? Oh, yeah. Drink it, baby. Okay, that's enough energy drink. We're going to have a panic attack. That was really refreshing. Really, let's go now. We still need to get to the motel. Let's do it. How about we make a bet? I can throw this can in the bucket. You'll pay for the motel. All right, man. That's fine. Haha, you're going to lose. I was a basketball champion in school. Yeah, right. It's been a long time. Free motel, hot shower. I'm coming. Go ahead. Uh, 
looks like I'm going to make the most of this trip. Now you pay for everything. And I just enjoy. I like the first one. That's not fair. The wind got in my way. No excuses. You bet and lost. Okay, okay. I'm a man who keeps his promise. Good, let's go. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to the hot shower. Oh. You think that's funny, don't you? Throwing garbage on the ground? Calm down, my friend. We were only joking. We didn't want to leave trash on the ground. Yes, we were only joking. Damn people from the big city are always causing trouble, ruining everything. You're rude. We have done nothing. Forget it, man. Let's go. It's not worth arguing with him. Yeah, fucking I mean, I'm not even gonna pick it up now. Come on. I was gonna pick it up. I'm not picking it up now. That is true. Why would they drink energy drinks right before sleep? That is dumb. Friday, October 25th, 2017, 125 AM. We finally arrived at the motel. I really need to take a hot shower and rest. Tomorrow morning, we will continue our journey. We should arrive in Pineville at dusk. It's good to be traveling with Lenny, but it's a little weird. I know he likes me, but I only see him as a friend. Oh, God. I told you Lenny's going to be the one. I told you, man. It's always the people that are the least creepy. <laughs> that are the ones that are the enemy. Are we at the motel or what? We finally made it to the motel. I can fall asleep right now. Just sitting. I'll head to reception. I still have your wallet with me. You could just get one room. It'll save us some money. And we can just crash together. Hopefully the bed's big enough. Uh... You really don't give up, do you? I'm a warrior. And you're my maiden. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, the long pauses. All right. Go ahead and get two rooms. I think that's what it said. <laughs> I was reading that too fast. Oh, come on, Lenny. Poor Lenny. He's in the friend zone. Welcome to the Grand Rock Motel. The best motel in the whole region. Good evening. I need two rooms. Are you accompanied? Yes, my friend is outside. Perfect. How long will you stay? Tonight only. Tomorrow morning we must go. Where are you going? You don't look like you're from around here. We're going to Pineville. Family matters. Like, what do you mean we don't look like we're from around here? We're wearing clothes. Very cool. Young people traveling and enjoying life. Oh, I miss my younger days. Sometimes it's good to feel new air, I guess. Of course, sometimes I talk too, too much. It costs $22.50 per room, including breakfast. Well, that's not bad. Thanks, I'll get the keys for you. I like that. Not a bad price. Not a bad price. What the hell? That's weird. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Rooms one and four. You're in luck. Those are the only two that aren't booked. Wonderful, thank you. My son works here with me. If you see him, just ignore him. He's a good kid. He just has some mental problems. No problem. I just want to take a hot shower and get some sleep. Let's just do that. Good night, beautiful young lady. Dream sweetly. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Rooms one and four, man. Okay, I've rented two rooms. Two? I thought we were going to sleep together. Ha ha. Get out of my face, man. Only in your dreams, Lenny. Okay, no kidding. I can stay in room one to keep an eye on the motorhome. Okay, I'll stay in room four. Uh, it's getting weird, bro. It's getting weird. All right. Uh, room two, three. I kind of... I, honestly, man, if Lenny wasn't so weird, here's what I would do in this situation. If I had a girl that, that I knew was my friend or a friend and we were traveling together, honestly, if I was a girl, I'd want to stay in the same room. But as a guy, I would be like, you take the bed, I will sleep on the couch or the floor. What's the word I'm looking for here? I don't want to say white knighting because that's not the term I'm looking for. <laughs> It's just awkward. I probably would pick a separate room. 
Yeah, that's that's yeah. I'd let her get the motel and I'd sleep in the RV. It's an RV. I'm a dude. I don't need a shower. Here we go. Room four. If he's so concerned about the RV, sleep in it. Wow, look at this. It's nice. Turn the damn light on. There we go. Damn, it's dim in here. Boy, the attention to detail in this game is not bad. Not bad at all. Time to pee. I don't know. The way his ass smells, I probably would want a separate hotel. Ah. <sighs> okay. I'm going to take a shower before bed. That's right. I forgot about that. Nice shower. Need to close the doors first. Yeah. We need to lock the other door. Space to turn on the shower. There we go. Yeah. Get no stinky bits. <laughs> All right. Wash my titties. There we go. All right. Oh my god. Someone's knocking on the door. Can I please grab a towel? I'm naked. Oh, come on, bro. I am literally naked answering the door. Better not leave now. Yeah, I'm trying to... Ah! Lenny, dude. Who are you? That wasn't Lenny. What do you want? Get out of here, please. Please let me in. My mother is angry with me. No, you cannot enter. I'm Jeremiah. Now you know me. Let me in. I'm sorry. You better go away. Open this fucking door now. If you don't leave now, I'll call the police. Do you no longer love me? I love you. I already said go away. What? is this bro can i please put a towel on or something what does he want from me he must be the son of the motel owner yeah um maybe i should hide in here You, ha 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 now it's your turn to look for me you're mad get out now oh my god but i just wanted to play you were hiding i thought you wanted to play too playing you broke into my room you're very beautiful i've never seen such a beautiful woman never what do you think about playing something else just like me and mom mom plays with me in bed that's different. I like it. Oh my god. Jeremiah, this again? What did I tell you about breaking into other people's rooms? Oh no. Mom, I was only joking. She wasn't even scared. No excuses. Go home now. You will learn not to disrespect me anymore.
I'm so sorry about that. Must have forgotten to take his medication. That won't happen again. That cannot be. He doesn't seem friendly to me. As I told you, he has some problems, but I promise he won't come near you again. Okay, I hope so. Have a nice evening. If you need me, I'll be at reception. Get the fuck. I am naked, bro. Get the hell out of here. If you're going to have a kid like that breaking into people's motels, you need, like, something in these rooms that we can barricade the door with or those locks up here that you can't break through. No way, bro. One of my favorite games, dude. Deer. You guys remember that game? It's like the best game ever made. That's the game developers. Okay. Now I know why I like this so much. Or don't like it. Uh, where's the damn phone, man? I gotta get out of here. I'm getting out of here. After that, I need to drink a coffee. Is there a coffee machine at the reception? No. Why are you... Dude. Bro, your friend is right here. Now we're outside. I've, dude, I would get in the truck. I would bang on the door. I would get my friend and I would get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Need a cup. We're going black with this one. Straight black coffee. better not be poison. Yeah, I'm looking at you, you, stupid bitch. Never coming back here again. You're lucky I'm not packing. Because normally I pack. Your son would have had a damn hole in his ear. Get me out of here. Get that shit out of here. No respect for this place. None whatsoever. He's going to be back in my room, isn't he? What is this? Entered? No, I'm not playing that. No. Okay. Check under the bed. Check under the bed. hes I know he's going to be in here. Oh! Are you okay? Who was that guy? I'm fine. It was just the motel owner's son. He's a little crazy. He's a little crazy. The motel owner warned him. Yeah. Uh, I'll do the second one. Seems like there are only crazy people out there, right? Almost wet my trousers with fear. Damn. I think we need to sleep. We'll be back on the road in a few hours. You're right. I almost fall asleep standing up. <laughs> I'm very tired. I think I'll go to sleep anyway. Yeah, I could sleep anywhere. Oh, when the madman returns, scream. I'll come and save you. And how will you save me? By farting on him, stinky? <laughs> oh, man, that's degrading. Aha, very funny. But seriously, just shout and I'll appear. Okay, fine, don't worry. If you want, I can sleep here with you. That would be safer. So that you destroy my bathroom in my room? No. So that you destroy the bathroom in my room. No. You'll never forget this, will you? Nope. You stink, bro. Can't do that. You stink once, you stink forever. Ah, uh, close the damn door, please. What is going on? I need to sleep. I'm very tired. Yes, please close the door. Thank you. Go to sleep. Oh my god, I could not sleep here. Oh no. No. It's done. I feel like I slept for two minutes. Stand up. All right, we're good, right? Okay, check in here. We're good. Ah, <sighs> love that game. 
All right, fresh day. Let's get the hell out of here. Please. Hey, man, come on. Hurry up. I know this isn't your... <sighs> Maybe some coffee. Lenny must still be sleeping. I'm going to... T yes. Take some coffee. Good. Nobody's here. They're still asleep. Straight black coffee. Yes. There we go. God, that looks terrible. Okay. I'll leave to drink on the road when you... Uh, yes. Let's wake up Lenny. Let's get the hell out of here. I wouldn't even have got the coffee. I got a bad feeling about Lenny right now. Come on, man. There you are. Stinky bitch. Are you ready? Good morning, sleepyhead. Are you awake? Are you ready to go again? Do you want to drink your coffee? No, when I drink coffee in the morning, let's just say my stomach doesn't feel very good. Please don't fart on the rest of the road trip. Yes. Come on. Be careful with your new friend. What? He was around in the early hours of the morning. Very strange. That mad guy really scared me. He's just a guy who needs attention. All right, let's just go, man. He's going to be in the truck, dog. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet he's going to be in the truck... We're going to get to where we're going, and he's going to pop out. Why is the door open? Yes, I will throw this coffee on him. This is not going to be good. Friday, October 25th, 2017, 925 a.m. <sighs> I'd never been on such a long road trip. We drove for a few more hours, and I decided to stop for something to eat. Hope I don't meet any more crazy people out there. It seems like everyone is always hostile and dangerous. Very weird, weird, weird world. Yes, the diner. You stink, bro. Come on, talk to me, man. What are we doing? I'm starving. This seems like a good place to get something to eat. Me too. This is our last stop before Pineville. Choose a table for us to sit at. I'll be there in a minute. And why don't you come soon? I'm getting old, man. I, Meg, I just need a minute. <laughs> so my back doesn't lock up. Dude, I know that feeling. Okay, I'll wait for you out inside. You old man. But she's just constantly degrading this dude, man. Challenging his emotions. The diner. That's a nice diner. I like it. Beautiful day. What weird dude are we going to meet in here? Enjoy the best country music from across the region. Hello, sir. I would like a table. Good morning, young lady. Welcome to the best restaurant in the whole region. Good morning. What would you recommend I order? Our burgers are famous. Order one with fries. You can't go wrong. Thanks for the suggestion. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to sit way over here. I always find the spot furthest away from people. Hello, ma'am. I'll have... <laughs> God bless the faces in these games, bro. Would you like something to eat? Yes, just waiting for my friend. Okay, when he arrives, I'll come back and take your order. Would you like something to drink while we wait? Not now, thank you. Uh, What's he doing in there? Who the hell is that? Oh, my God. Yep. The farting cowboy is coming in. He's going to sit. Oh, my God, bro. Come on. Is that? He put on a cowboy hat. So, what do you think? You like the hat? Who do you think you are, Indiana Jones? Let's just say I'm a country guy now. Traveling with my beautiful wife. God bless. Come on, dude. Come on, Lenny. Lose the hat. You're not a cowboy. Leave my hat alone. It's part of me now. Anyways, I'm starving. Let's order something. Good idea. 
I thought it was some other dude. <laughs> Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I want a burger and fries. All right, what about you, cowboy? What are you going to have? I have the same as her. And a soda, please. Better be diet. Okay, you need anything else? That's all, thank you. All right, I'll bring your order out in just a bit. Ah, dang, she's got fucking dookie roll on her. I hope the food is good. Yeah, me too. Really like that hat, right? Yes, that's how I look like a country. <laughs> Lenny, no one here is wearing a hat. Yeah, you look stupid, you stinky bastard. That's true, but I'll still wear my hat. Okay, I give up. It's awkward as hell. This is what I'd really be doing in the restaurant. I'm like, all right, here comes our food, Lenny. You excited? I'm itchy. Now another one from your favorite radio station. Okay, here's your order. Bon appetit. If you need anything, just call me. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ah, he's going to fart. It's kind of fun messing with these laid-back country folk, huh? You spilled the salt. <laughs> Quick, throw some salt over your right shoulder. I have a stomachache. With how quickly you ate it, I'm not surprised. I'll just run to the bathroom real quick. And be right back. <laughs> oh man, here we go. Hello, ma'am. Uh, damn. Hello, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, God. What? Just checking y'all out, you know. Hello, ma'am. How's your food? <laughs> He's like, please go away. You enjoying your break, ma'am? Huh? What you reading there? Daily news. Breaking news. <laughs> Wait a minute. I saw that in a game the other day. On one of my three scary games. You should go back and watch that video. It's dope. Anyway. America! The 50s diner. All right, let's go poopy. Oh, no. Somebody's going to walk in here, dude. It's, oh, my God. This is going to be bad. Why is there milk in here? Locked. Uh, I, uh. What if I open it? Somebody was there taking a fat shit. Okay, man. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that snack did not sit well with me. All right, come on, let. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, somebody came in. I got to pinch it. Oh, dude, come on, man. Come on. What is this? Hello? Who the hell is that? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I got a I got a good scope of his shoes. White laces. I think they were navy blue. Golly, that stinks. Get me out of here. Who was that? What the? Where did Lenny go? Well, it wasn't him. Now another Checking his shoes. Well, let me go back there. Wasn't him. Wasn't him. Was that Lenny? What the hell? I thought you left without me. I was just over there talking to that horse. That burger messed me up. <laughs> you should probably leave soon before they figure out you wrecked the bathroom. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Let's go. Why are you always walking into me? Check his shoes. It definitely wasn't him. Whoa. That's creepy. All I remember is the white laces. 
Friday, October 25th, 2017, 6.35 p.m. Yeah, Pineville. We made it. Maybe I'll buy a big ass Winnebago like this. Me and Snip will go cross country. Maybe that was Mixo. I don't know. It sounded like it. I think that was Mixo. Oh, yeah. Dude, what? I've seen this house three times in a week. We finally arrived. Wow, this house is stunning. It must have at least 10 rooms. It's not the house in front, Lenny. It's the one on the right. Oh, it's still a fantastic house. There are so many beautiful homes around here. The city is absolutely beautiful. It would be cool to live here. How are you, Meg? How do you feel about all this? Are you okay? I'm fine. Just like I said, I wasn't very close to my mother. It's strange. It's strange to be here. I'll just say that. I should park the motorhome now. The lawyer is probably waiting for you. You're right. I need to talk to him soon. Exit. No, let's, yeah, let's just do that. So weird, dude. I've seen this street three times this week on video games. Only it was that house right there. That house was in the three scary games. It's just been like like remodeled a bit. I know that because it doesn't have a driveway. That's awesome. But we're going to this house. Hello? It needs dialogue though. There's the lawyer. Hello, you must be Megan. Hello, it's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm truly sorry for your loss. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you. I apologize for making you come all this way. It's crucial that you take responsibility for your inheritance. Otherwise, the state will auction off your mother's house and belongings. I was very close to my mother, but I'm her only daughter. I just need you to sign a few papers. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll give you the deed to the house. Great. So tomorrow I can return home. <laughs> Look at this dude. I noticed you didn't come by yourself. Uh, did you bring your boyfriend? Ugh. I can sign papers now. I'm really tired. So let me, What? So let's get this started. I just need your autograph. Ha ha ha. I just need to use the bathroom first. I'm about to burst. Certainly come in at your home. Oh, God. Now the lawyer's a weirdo. You stand right there and don't you move. The bathroom is upstairs, first door on your right. You're familiar with the house, aren't you? Um, I've been your mother's lawyer for quite a while, and we had a good relationship. Okay. Take your time. I'll be here waiting. Yeah, something is fishy about that. So he knows the house. He could have been porking my mom. And he probably wants to inherit this house, so he's probably going to try to kill me. Is that fair to assume? What was that walking? Please lock the door. Hmm. Ah, yeah. Hmm. Ah, I was waiting for it and it didn't happen. Okay, that was good. Better not walk around the house just yet. Okay, all right. I heard footsteps, but whatever. There are only two signatures required. Uh, one for the deed to the house and the other for access to the bank accounts. Yeah, I know. I'm a lawyer too. A professional colleague, why didn't you bring all that up sooner? That doesn't change anything. I'm here as a daughter. All right, just go ahead and sign the documents. Will do, sir. I just inherited a house. Now this is my house. Get the hell out of here. Excellent, that's all. I'll stop by tomorrow afternoon to give you the house deed. Thanks. 
Hey, uh, you had to be Megan's friend, right? Huh? Who the, what the? Lenny here. Hello. It brings me to mind a convention for a turn. What? Haha, ha, it's true. All we needed was one more judge to complete the fantastic quarter. Or what does that say? I don't know what the hell that means. Well, Lenny, it seems you've made a new friend. It seems someone is feeling jealous, huh, Meg? Wait a minute. I know you know that I love you. Just be quiet. Not to talk nonsense. I left my cell phone number on the refrigerator door, and I need to go. Call me if you need anything at all. Don't worry. After just one hour with Lenny, you'll be ready to pull out your hair. <laughs> Isn't that right, Lenny? You drive everyone up the wall. I know that I need to use the bathroom right away. The bathroom is situated upstairs on <laughs> the second floor at the first door on the right. Thank you, man. I'm about to run or crap my pants. Something's up, man. Something's not making sense. Don't mind him. He's just a little off his rocker. You know how it is. Okay. Ah. Okay. I need to go now. Goodbye. Got it. See you tomorrow, Henry. Quit walking into me. Get the paperwork. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Something. Something is very strange. Eight o'clock PM. What the hell? I've never seen a night this beautiful. Someday I want to live far away from the city. I don't know. I guess I actually like the big city. Not sure if, not sure if I'd ever get used to that kind of quiet. You would, trust me, bro. Though I gotta admit, taking a break from the usual routine feels really nice. Yeah, that's true. So what are you planning to do? I mean, with the house. Are you thinking about moving here? To be honest, I don't know. Or I haven't really thought about it yet. It's a lot to take in, I'll say that. I really like it here. Just promise me one thing. You won't ditch your best friend who, in this case, is me. Thanks again, Lenny, for coming out here with me. I know you love me. No need to hide it anymore. I'm not even going to dignify this with an answer. Yeah, that was a little creepy, Lenny. A little creepy, dude. Oh, God. His heart is breaking, bro. Absolutely breaking. Did you know that the move moves away from the Earth every year? <laughs> Lenny and his random affairs. Uh, where did you see that? That would be like the end of the world, let's say that. It's serious, but it won't affect us, at least until the entire solar system ends. <laughs> Where do you get these things from? I read tons of books. I'm a very smart guy, okay? That's a lie. I just Googled it. <laughs> Not everything, everything you see on the internet is true, you know. I know, but you got to get with the times, Meg. It's 2017, and you don't even have a cell yet. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You know I can't stand technology, and all this talk is making me hungry. What's good to eat in this city? Maybe there's a pizzeria nearby? That would be perfect. I haven't eaten pizza for a long time. There must be a telephone in the house. Look for a flyer or a number of the pizzeria. I need to take a shower. Okay, Lenny, go take a shower. I'll do all the work myself. Please, Meg, I'm so tired. Okay, I'll try to find a pizzeria number. Thank you, beautiful woman. Ask for pepperoni with lots of onions. I'll pay. All right. All right. That Lenny's trying, man. He's trying. Feel bad for him because I'm not a, I'm not attracted to him, you know? He just, he just... It's just one of those things. The chemistry's not there. I like him as a friend, but... You know, I need to find the phone number to the pizzeria. Ah! 555. Five, five. Wait a minute. This. 
Pizza Romaine's. All right, well, 555-914. We'll do that. think that's mixo that was definitely mixo good evening i would like two large pizzas well then you called the right place <laughs> so what kind of pizza do you want that's definitely mixo dude <laughs> oh my god uh mixo i would like uh i do pepperonis a fettuccine a bottle of fettuccine a 1981 that's a great choice. Uh. Perfect. Do you want something to drink to help you cool off in this heat? No, just the pizzas for delivery. Okay. And uh, what's your address? <laughs> I can't believe it's big so, dude. It's so funny, dude. Pass the address. Looks like your total for delivery is eighty-seven fifty. Will you be needing change? Okay, please ring change. <laughs> For what? 100. Perfect. Your order should be arriving in 30 minutes. Thank you for being a customer of Romana Pizzeria. Bon appetit, and you have a good night. Thanks. Good night. Yeah, I it did say onions, didn't it? Oh, well. I don't like onions on my pizza, bro. So he's just going to have to cope. Ha! Ah! Oh, I feel like a new person. Are you able to order pizza? Yes, it should arrive in 30 minutes. I'm so hungry. I could eat a dinosaur. Dinosaurs no longer exist. Don't you want to take a shower, Meg? You're starting to smell. Of course I will, right now. You can go. When the pizza arrives, I'll take it. You'll not eat without me. Wait for me. Don't worry, Meg. I would never do that. All right, then. Get out of here, you weirdo. He's going to take a bite into it and go, Extra cheese? All right. That was hilarious, dude. That was hilarious. Ah, it feels so good. Nice warm water. I gotta wash my under boobs. There we go. I don't ever close the curtain. That is so weird. Why do I hear somebody walking around? Can I get out of the shower, please? Where'd he go? What the hell, man? He's... I, I think I know where he is. <laughs> Damn, Meg. You always scare me. I'm always scaring you. You're joking, aren't you? Relax, I was just using the phone. I called our boss. Why did you call him? I thought you were on vacation. You know, Scott Well, he never lets us take a real vacation. Yes, it's good that we don't have a cell phone. He wants me to go to the nearby town of Pineville. He wants me to get some papers for him. Damn, Lenny, do you really want to leave me here alone? It will only be for a few hours. I'll be back before dawn. I promise you that. Oh my god, you're an idiot. But of course... I won't leave you until I eat pizza. I won't leave everything to you. Looks like our pizza has arrived. Can you get it? Sure. Uh, 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 dude. Good evening. Your pizza is here. Perfect. I'm starving. Uh, where's Miss Judith? It's been a while since you ordered pizza. That, this is my mother, unfortunately. She is deceased, or she's deceased. My condolences. My father passed away a month ago. I know how hard it is. Thank you. My condolences, too. Life is like this. One day you're here, and, well, suddenly we die. Thank you, man. Can I have my fucking pizza, please? Here are your pizzas. Have a nice, not, have a nice evening. Get out of here. You're making me freaking stumble my words. You asked for change for 100 right? Yes, pay. Thank you. I hope you like the pizza. It's the best in the whole region. 
I bet it will be good. After all, it's pizza. Good night. See you later. Thank you. Good night. Get out of here. Go on. Here we go. Come on, man. Let's eat. Let's do it. Oh, that looks great. Uh, Lenny, I forgot your onions, bro. <laughs> you get the plain cheese. The plain chee. Wow, that looks great. I can eat it all by myself. That is selfishness. Okay. I'll give you two slices. Ha ha. Two slices are enough for me. I'm not a pizza eating monster. Uh, I'm Lenny. The bathroom destroyer and pizza eater. <laughs> what? <laughs> a man must eat well. When we marry, he will have a very fat husband. Ha ha. Why don't you just shut up? <laughs> Let us eat soon. How about eating this pizza while watching TV? That's fine with me. Lenny, you're fucking weird, man. What are you doing? What kind of... What kind of shoes are you wearing, man? Ah. Oh, Lenny, man. Always trying to get in my damn pants. Alright, whatever. <whistles> yeah! Pizza time, baby! This is great. Slow down, slow down. There you go, eat again. You don't want to upset your stomach again. I'm going to beat you, Lenny, you stinky bastard. What the hell are we watching, man? Let's watch a scary movie. This is the best pizza I've ever eaten. I've eaten better, but it's very good. Let's move on to the second round. Come on, <laughs> whoever finishes last does the washing up. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Sounds as if someone has knocked on the door. Yes. You could go get it. I would go, but it's your house. Ha ha. And I have a lot of pain in my legs. Okay, Lenny. Whatever, dog. Just fucking stand up and get it. Lazy bastard. Who the hell is at the door? I can't see. No one. I just put my plate in the sink. Who the hell is that? That's somebody. What in the hell are you? Did you just get off work at the baby powder factory? Are you the uh, neighborhood cocaine dealer? You want a drink? You thirsty, buddy? What do you want? Hello? Uh, can I help? Sorry. It's just that you look a lot like Judith. Oh my God, she was my mother. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry, who are you? Yes, I live next door. By the way, my name is Joseph. All right, my name is Megan. I'm sorry for her loss. She was an incredible woman. It's very kind of you. Who is the man there with you? He's just my friend. You shouldn't have told him that, you stupid bastard. That's your boyfriend. I'm going. It looks like it's going to rain tonight. Good evening. See you later then. Uh, if you need anything, I'm right by your side in the house next door. Good. Can you please leave, sir? What the fuck? What the hell kind of pants are those? He's got hair in the back, bro. Wait a minute. He did have the shoes, didn't he? No way. Oh, no. What? I believe someone would need to wash the dishes. You, you'd already opened the door. What? You, I, what? I had already opened the door. By the way, who was that elderly man? He was merely a curious neighbor. It's odd. Out here in the countryside, people are far more talkative. In the city, everyone seems to perpetually stressed. Seems perpetually stressed. This suggests that everyone has a touch of psychopathy. <laughs> What? Ha ha, it's true. But now we have to figure out who will wash the dishes. Motherfucker, I'll do it. Let's play a game. Whoever loses has to do the dishes. What game is it, Lenny? You can pick the game. I win regardless. Sure. Let's play a game of tag. Really, dude? Tag? Child's play? All right, let's do it. We are confined within that office. It's nice to feel like a child occasionally. All right, what are the rules? What the hell is this? You can't leave the house. I'll run. If you catch me, I'll do the dishes. If you give up trying to catch me, 
you'll end up doing the dishes. All right, that, whatever. Just because my legs are hurting, you think you're going to win, huh? Come on, see if you can catch me, I dare you. Run. Ha ha, you're way too slow, you bastard. I want another shot. It's all right, go ahead and cry. But if I catch you again, you're doing the dishes. What do I do? What the hell? What the fuck? No, that was cheating, dude. All right, that's enough you lost. It's not fair, Lenny. You have the advantage. You're way faster than I am. Okay, I won't be unfair. Let's do this again. I'll wash the dishes, but just this once. Then I really need to hit the road. If I don't get those papers, our boss will be furious. Thanks a lot for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. I promise I'll be back as soon as I can. Where the hell was I supposed to run? Maybe I was supposed to just run in a circle. Like this. Yeah, I probably should have just done that. Or maybe run in here. I thought maybe I could hide, but... He was really fast. Like, that's seriously weird. He might try to come back. Then he washed the dishes and turned to leave. I'll be back at dawn, I promise, he said with a reassuring smile. That's not good. I have to admit, I really hate being here alone. It's so weird and kind of scary. My mother died in a really bizarre way. I found signs of strangulation. Someone killed her. Oh, that's fantastic. Her body was found in the lawn, and no one, none of the neighbors, saw or heard anything. Well, it was probably that old dude. And here I am. I still don't know what really happened. You know, these details would have been good before you came here. Alone at night in this house. That, that, would, that would have been good to know. Because I definitely wouldn't stay here alone. 10.45 p.m. Oh my god. Well, at least we know where all the hiding spots are. I'm really parched. I need to grab a glass of water. Gee, I wonder what's going to happen. Now drink it and go back to bed. Drinking sink water, bro. That's disgusting. Somebody's gonna knock on the damn door. I know it. Either that or somebody's probably already in here. I should probably put this cup in the sink now. Yeah, that's what I was doing. All right, cool. Feeling sleepy, so I'm going to go lie down. I don't like that. Not a fan of that. Oh my God. Here we go. Get sun tight. Bone apple tits. I knew it. Who could be knocking on the door at this hour? Bro? Who the hell is at my door? Can't see. Oh my god, could you please help me? I'm really needed. Who are you exactly? My name is Fred. My car broke down nearby and I'm soaked. I'm really sorry, but I'm not sure I can help. I just need a towel to dry off and if you could, could, use your phone and call a tow truck for a car. I'm sorry, but I can't help you right now. Please, I've knocked on every door and no one answered. I'm sorry, I can't help. Are you kidding? I'm in a real mess. You're just looking to turn me away? You're not going to say anything? Are you really just going to deny help to someone in need? I already told you I can't help. I'm really sorry. Please go away. You'll pay for this. You don't know what you're doing. Get the hell out of here, bitch. I'm packing. I think. I think my mom has a gun. Look at the shoes. Look at the shoes. I can't see them. 
hell is he doing? That's right, get out of here. Lights off. What's he doing? What the hell is he doing? Oh no. Where the hell is he going, man? He's going to try to climb up in the window, dude. I don't like this at all. I might I might need to hide. There he is. He's just standing there. What the hell is he doing? Girls, this is why you need to pack. You need to get trained on how to use a firearm. That guy really scared me. Feels like I only attract crazy people. I decided to let it go and get some sleep. I turned off the lights and laid down. I love falling asleep to the sound of rain. It's soothing and refreshing. I can still smell my mother's perfume lingering in the room. I fell asleep, but around 12.30 a.m., I heard some noises coming from the garage. No! Oh. Uh, sounds like noise is coming from the garage. Is that Mixo breaking in? Check the cameras on the computer. I don't know how to log in, man. What the hell's the password? I don't know why I'd be in the bathroom. Password, password. Today I made the decision to install security cameras around the house. I've been feeling a little uncomfortable about my safety lately, and it seems like the right move. For now, I only put them outside and on the first floor. It's a bit pricey, but worth the peace of mind, I suppose. I also had to buy a computer just to keep an eye on the cameras. It's a little tiring, but I hope it helps to feel safer in my home. Really, dude? Uh, 175, 548. 175, 548. 175, 548. 175, 548. I remember that sound. S hungry snake? No. Okay, cam one. What the hell? Bright mode. The garage is open. No. It's the neighbor. Need to find a place to hide. Yes. Uh, I'm going to turn that light off.
Oh my, I didn't mean to startle you, young lady. Are you out of your mind? You're trespassing into my home. Please stay calm. I came here to help. I saw someone enter through the garage and thought they might be in danger. You have no right to enter my home without permission. There is no one else here. Listen to me. I saw someone come in here. We're not alone. I checked the cameras, and all I saw was you invading my mother's house. I know what I saw, and I was in wasn't your friend someone else came in please i've already asked you to go okay i'm sorry about this i must be getting old i really need to rest dude what is the point of hiding crazy old man if he comes back here i swear i'll call the police no you should have a firearm and you should have stood at the top of the steps and warned anyone in the house they need to leave now because you have a firearm that's what you do you call it out Stand up here and say, I've got a gun, and if you don't leave, I will shoot you. <sighs> After all that, I don't sleep anymore. I'm going to watch some TV. Yep, there's some. There's going to be somebody in here, and I don't know where to run. This is great. This is fantastic. He's going to be in here, isn't he? Oh, my God. Tonight, we turn our attention to a chilling case that has oh, left the residents no. of Pineville on edge. A serial killer, infamously dubbed the Night Stalker, is currently at large, having committed a series of brutal crimes targeting primarily <sighs> women. Authorities report that the suspect typically breaks into homes under the cover of darkness. In response to the alarming situation, the police have established a special task force dedicated to apprehending the killer, who has been linked to more than 10 victims to date. In light of these events, residents are urged to ensure their doors are securely locked and to contact the police immediately in case of any emergency. To aid in the investigation, a reward of $5,000 is being offered for any information that leads to the capture of this dangerous individual. That wraps up tonight's edition of Pineville's Nightly News. Stay safe Thank you. and we'll see you tomorrow. I really wanted to watch that right now. A killer's on the loose. That's terrible. I thought the city was quieter. It's going to be the dude from the motel, man. Wow, there's still the black and white cartoons on TV. That's fine with me. I'll watch this. Oh, God, I hate this, bro. Oh, no. No. Here we go. Great. Now the power's out. Perfect timing, right? Yep. He's going to be in here. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. I gotta close that garage, dude. I can't. The power's out. Where's the Where's the electrical box? Power cord going upstairs. Hmm. What the hell? I can't. It won't let me leave this area. Okay. Why is what the hell? I felt like the whole world was plotting against me. First, Lenny left me here alone. Then some lunatic shows up at my door aggressively, aggressive and hostile. Now I get the news that there's some murderer on the loose. And right then, the power goes out. If I weren't living it by myself, I'd swear it was straight out of a low-budget movie. Great. Well, there's the flashlight. Must be a circuit breaker panel in, or outside. Great, we're going outside. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Yep. Why the hell would it be right here? Someone definitely sabotaged the panel. We're in the rain, but you, what? It's like, oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. We're in trouble. Him again. What's we'll he after this time? You might want to run, dude. Just gonna run. Oh my god, you bastard. Wait, please, I won't hurt you. What do you want? I'm calling the police. How are we gonna call the police? That's enough. I'm calling the police right now.
how I can call the police before he comes back. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's the number to 911? Please help me, someone broke into my house. I'm pretty sure he had a knife. Oh, I'm gonna need you to stay calm, man. Can you tell me exactly what happened? I don't know, this man knocked on my door asking for help, but something felt wrong. Something about him felt off, so I didn't open the door. But he just stood there, he wouldn't leave. He smashed in the door, I hid, and now it seems like he's gone, but I'm not sure. Okay now, can you send me your address? Pass the address. I'll send the vehicle right away. Please hurry. Bro, I don't know what to do. I would jump out the window if I could. Oh, I hate this. Oh, it's letting me go down now. Front door's open. He's trying to trick me. I better stay inside until the police arrive. Bro, he's in here. He's hiding in here. Oh my god. Garage closed now. Ah! Ah! never thought I'd face a situation this horrifying. Knowing I could die at any moment is far from comforting. I was shaking. I decided to stay under the bed until I could stabilize myself a bit. Everything was so quiet. I could only hear the sound of the rain. I thought he might have really given up and gone away. Bro, I'm not leaving. I am not leaving this freaking under the bed, bro. I'm safe under here. Not doing it. Ah. Well, I guess let's get out. Why, why did you come out? That's my question. Why not just stay under there? I hate this game. What am I hearing? Bro. He's in the garage. Get me out of that house. Where's my neighbor? Oh, won't let me go there. I'm gonna have to go in the garage. And then I'm gonna have to run out. So what's next, girl? You gonna run, hide? What are we playing tonight? The cops are already coming. Cops? I don't hear any sirens. Face it, you're alone and you're mine now. Please don't hurt me. I haven't done anything to you. You're a bad person. You turned away when I needed help. Oh yeah, 
Don't worry, you deserve to die. Oh, come on, man. Get him, bro. Now you die. Aren't you going to say anything? Get him, dog. Yes! Yes. Thank you, old cocaine head man with weird pants. I warned you that someone was spying on you, but don't worry. I'm a retired police officer. You're in safe hands. Thank you for saving me. <sighs> What'll I ever do to repay you? You want a back rub? Don't worry. I'm your neighbor. I saw you were in danger, so I stepped in to help. Even though you doubted me, I was just doing my job. I may be retired, but I'm not out of the game yet. I'm sorry, I just got scared. Okay, did you call the police? Yes, they're already on their way. He won't get up. I stabbed, <laughs> what? A stab wound to the upper part of the right lung. I think he will remain on the floor. I'm going to call Henry. Uh, he's been handling everything with the house and I think I need to let him know. I'm going to stay here and keep an eye on him. He doesn't seem to be alive, but you never know, right? Bro, he's still alive. Five, 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 seven, two, six. Henry's gonna wanna hear all about this. Hello, who's speaking? Uh, hey Henry, it's Megan. Someone just got stabbed in my kitchen. Everything okay, Megan? I mean, it's already pretty late. Sorry for calling so late, but I was attacked. He tried to kill me. Oh my God, Megan, this is serious. Tell me what happened. Are you safe? I'm not sure. A man knocked on my door. He seems disturbed. He seemed disturbed, and he had a knife. What is he now? Did you call the police? He's dead. My neighbor Joshua hacked him with a knife. He's on the ground. Henry, are you still there? Megan, did you say your neighbor Joshua saved you? Yes, he saved me. He's down there right now. Oh, no. That's weird, Megan. You didn't have any neighbors named Joseph. In fact, all your neighbors are out of town. Are you still there? Oh my god, bro, what do I do? What in the hell, dude? He's definitely dead. It's stuck? Ah, oh, come on! Ah. Oh. Joseph? Why did you pick up the knife? Joseph? You're scared of me. I saved your life. Didn't you say you were my neighbor? You lied. You're not my neighbor. Who are you? I gave my life to protect and serve others. And what did I get? Absolutely nothing. I needed something more. Something that could make me feel anything again. Tell me. Have you ever killed someone? Oh my god, bro. Get me out of here now.
Oh. I'm gonna get stabbed. Five years later. What is this? Oh no. <laughs> I swear to God. If I open this cabin door and Lenny's in here, I don't want to go in right now. Really, dude? You had me running around? Ha, ah, perfect shot. <laughs> you need sharper eyes than that, Meg. Well, now, it's not exactly too polite to throw snowballs at folks. Come on, it's our first time seeing snow. Let's have ourselves a snowball fight. You'll never beat me. Didn't you leave me in a house to die, you son of a bitch? Yeah, you got nothing on that. Well then, come on. Let's see if you can hit me. Really? Hey, how about you throw? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, what you got? What you got, Lenny? What you got? Hit you right in the ding-dong, boy. I got to lead you more. Oh, yeah, what you think about that? Oh, shit. Yeah. Lenny left me to damn die. How'd that pee, -pee shot feel, huh? How'd that feel? You want another one? Oh, shit, he stopped. It's all right, I got you. Yeah. PP Destroyer. The final boss. All right, I admit it. You got me this time. Told you. I'm practically unbeaten at snowball throwing. It's freezing out here. Let's head inside and warm up by the fire. Lenny, I just wanted to say thank you for bringing me here. I know how much you love me. I promise. I'll never leave you alone again. You left me alone once, and a maniac nearly got me killed. Now I'm by your side. Anyone tries to chew, come close to you, what are you going to do? I'm going to let out such a stench. Even the bravest killer would turn and flee. Ha ha, very funny. Listen, it's been five years. I need to find a way to move on. Every day his face haunts me. It feels like a curse. Oh, come on, man. Kiss him. Ha <laughs> ha. Little weak ass Lenny, bro. Joseph James D'Angelo was arrested in 2018 when DNA tests linked him to several crimes. He was he was then 72 years old. Gee whiz. He was tied or he was tried in mid 2020 for 13 more murders and 13 kidnappings. Can someone look that up? Uh, to commit robbery, 62 crimes of rape and kidnapping. God bless, bro. How does somebody get away with that? 62 crimes of rape and kidnapping. And it already been prescribed. Ah. Uh, when he pled guilty, thus avoiding the death penalty, but being sentenced to life in prison. No, uh, uh, uh. I look just like him. I love the music in these games, bro. Watch, we'll see Mixo Nat's name on here. I know he was the pizza guy. I know he was. There he is right there dubbing Mixo. <laughs> hey, Titan was in this one. Titan and Mixo. That's dope, bro. That is dope. There he is right there. What's up, Titan? Man, dude, this game was so fun. That was fantastic. I look forward to... Others by Tales Beyond the Tomb. 
That was awesome, dog.